<laughs> Great news, Nancy Pelosi's coming back into town as the House reconvenes this week. Um, first priority for Nancy Pelosi, find a new hairdresser in town. Uh, you know, becoming a king crab every time that Mitch talks about lobster. And putting a dog barker on the front door every time a blue dog Democrat comes knocking on her door. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Ally Lang with incredible great news about unemployment benefits. As states now are found a workaround to give you benefits for LWA if you don't qualify with that $100 threshold. More about that in a second. This is afternoon's Ally Lang with a big bombshell today about unemployment. Uh, part of our two hour program to lock every day here on LLA that starts every day at 3 30 with the check, then goes to hazard pay, then FPUC, and then finally rent. If there was ever a day to subscribe to this channel, it might be today. We reached 250,000 subscribers. So go to the first channel and hit the subscribe button and drop your comments below. We may feature them tomorrow's recording. We'll be answering all 500, some of your 566 comments from yesterday shortly. And like this video, it helps with the algorithm. We're appearing really high in the rankings. Boy, this is an incredible day uh, of recordings as a lot of major great news is coming for second stimulus in every direction. So it's a lot to digest. I'm here to sort of filter it for you. The big news is that a couple of states, Arkansas, Idaho, Rhode Island, and West Virginia are now doing a workaround to get LWA benefits to its citizens who did not qualify normally for LWA benefits because of that $100 threshold in the executive order of Donald Trump. So what they're doing is they're now tapping into that $150 billion coronavirus fund, scandalous fund that I detailed in that world exclusive over the weekend, and using that money to get it to you. This is absolutely incredible. A new report out of CNBC today says that the LWA program, which increases jobless aid by $300 a week, is only available if you made at least $100 of unemployment benefits to state or local programs. We know that. So some people were left out. Well, what's happening? Some states like Arkansas, Idaho, Rhode Island, West Virginia have now extended financial assistance through various means, aka workarounds. What are they doing? Rhode Island, here's an example, will pay a minimum benefit of $53 a week by executive order. Its governor, who's a Democrat, signed an executive order raising the minimum benefit to $100 a week so that people will qualify for the LWA. It's a little bit complicated, so hopefully I'm explaining it correctly. Um, Idaho has $15 million in federal COVID-19 funds for just the $300 a week benefit for people who didn't make $100 a week of benefits, according to a uh, spokesperson for Republican Governor Brad Little. Um, so what is he doing? He, I mean, his, his thing is absolutely incredible. I mean, God bless him. What he did was he identified the viewers, uh, the, viewers the, the, the residents of his state in Idaho who did not qualify L, LWA because of that $100 threshold. And so what he is doing is he's taking $15 million of the COVID-19 fund, the $150 billion fund, and dedicating it to pay the $300 the full $300 per week to those people who were not getting $300 a week because he didn't qualify because of the executive order. And this is a Republican who's doing it. God bless him. This is just incredible and great news. Thank you, Governor Brad Little. Um, so he's not modifying the $100 bump. He's just paying it out. West Virginia, it's doing another one. It's opting to pay an additional $100 a week on top of the federal $300 of fund. West Virginia is the only state in the union that's providing that particular type of relief. Um, while workers currently collecting the $100 in unemployment benefits won't get the $300, they'll still receive the extra $100 portions. Arkansas is doing something even different. They're implementing an emergency assistance program to impoverish recipients who don't qualify for $300. Um, they're doing assisting program with needy, fams, uh, needy families program. So they're doing something totally separate.
But what's important to understand as you sit here today is not to be uh, disinge- not to be disrespectful to the states, but they should have been doing this. What I exposed in a massive scandal over this weekend is the following: that states were dedicated hundreds of millions of dollars. And that hundreds of millions of dollars was supposed to be used on you. And now that scandal is really percolating to the surface. What's going on? $150 billion of COVID funds was dedicated for states to disperse to cities and counties. And that funds were supposed to land in your hands. It depends on what you call it, whether it's a stimulus check, rent assistance, enhanced unemployment benefits, food, They were supposed to give you that money, and they're not giving you that money. Three things happen. They either didn't give you the money, and the money starts sitting in the bank account. Two, they use the money, but for a purpose other than you. Really bad purposes. Three, they're not using the money, but they're trying to divert the money to purposes that don't qualify under the CARES Act 1, knowing it's supposed to go to you, but they're trying not to use it. But finally, the fourth one is the really good one, that some cities and counties now are launching programs just this week to give you incredible benefits. It's too much for one person on one channel to cover, every single city and every single county across the country. So what I'm telling you today across all my videos is to be on high alert of what your city and county is doing because a lot of them are launching these programs right now. Why right now? Because it's lose or lose, U-S-E-E, use or lose. If they don't use the money, the money is going back to Washington. Now, here's the last part. There's a big movement by viewers of this channel, a lot of others, to tag the president, tag Mnuchin, tag these people, tag other people and say, hey, get this money repurposed. Grab this money, Donald Trump, grab it, Mr. President, and repurpose and send it out as another round of LWA. I detailed over a week ago that there's enough money to do another round of LWA by executive order. I'm not going to repeat that in this video. There's $200 billion I've identified in this video that the pres- uh, this channel that the president can re- use for another round of LWA. It's not quite clear how many more weeks it would pass us, but there's that. There's that incredible great news. First, the executive order. Second, the state and locals, their ability to send out relief to you in a matter of using funds that they have from CARES Act 1. Third, the third one is really, oh, I've been detailing since this morning, is the Blue Dog Democrats, the New Age coalitions, the problem solvers. They're all introducing three bills in the next couple of days or a week or so. They haven't given us an exact timeline of when they're introducing, but they say September. That would include an extension of unemployment benefits all the way to December. That is the fourth incredible great news. The fifth one is that, you know, last Friday, Larry Kudlow said the president wants to extend enhanced unemployment benefits all the way to December and wants it to be in as a bill. Larry was asked about a $1.5 trillion offer (laughs) by Major Garrett on CBS. His response was, you know, I'm not going to deny or dispute the number. I've reported the president will agree to 1.5. He's at 1.3 now. There's a lot of reports that the president uh, informally has agreed to 1.5, but won't give that number out to Pelosi. Well, the problem solvers with their bill is at 1.5. And they're a nonpartisan group, Republicans and Democrats, House and Senate, that are set to introduce a bill to give you extensive FPUC. There's so much going on with FPUC literally everywhere that it's almost hard for, for anyone to grasp states and cities having your money, states and cities wanting to spend the money on you, states and cities not wanting to spend the money on you, the president having enough money to send it by executive order, three bills out there being introduced to get you money. You see a common theme about it? The common theme, with the exception of the people in the state and local that don't want to spend the money, is the common theme is they want to get the money to you, and there's one person holding up the money. Her name is Nancy Pelosi. She should be ashamed of herself. Uh, You dropped 566 comments yesterday about PUA and UI. Let me get to those in a a short moment. But let me explain to you where we are, and I'll start with Jason Alred in a second. Let me tell you where we are for purposes of UI and PUA, because I always need to uh, revisit this. First, if you are impacted by the pandemic, and you are an independent contractor, sole practitioner, you need to go get PUA. PUA qualifies you 
for relief, even if you had reduced number of hours, you don't have to be laid off. So go get some PUA. Go to your state's unemployment website, apply, make sure you list the date of impact as when you're first impacted by COVID-19. If that's in March, list March, do not list today. You'll lose weeks of unemployment benefits and go in and apply. If you apply and you're approved from March to the present, well, you'll get $600 a week as that F P-U-C add-on on top of your PUA benefits from every day that you certify from March all the way up through July. After that, you'll get LWA. You'll get $300 a week going forward. You'll get six weeks. I've detailed on this channel that FEMA has now reported that everyone's getting six weeks of LWA. For you, I, if you're a, a sole, if you're an, a, an employee and you are impacted by COVID-19, go get UI and do the same thing I just said for PUA. What I need to explain, because I've said before, but I'm going to repeat again, is one, if you are unemployed and now employed, don't assume you can't apply for, applica for, for relief for the weeks you were unemployed. That's the purpose of unemployment assistance for those weeks you were unemployed. Go apply for it. Second, certify for benefits. Don't stop certifying for benefits. If you worked in the week, say you worked, and here's the amount of money you made, and you're, you're not eligible for that week. Because if you become laid off again, you'll just go right back in that next week, say, hey, I made no money, I was laid off. Um, and then you'll get paid for that week. That's what certifying for benefits means. It's a wonderful, wonderful concept. Third, um, don't worry about LWA routing. I'm getting so many comments about it. Stay calm. Everyone's getting LWA routing different times. I know you need the money. I know it's, it's, but it's coming to you. It is coming to you. I'm saying it with a big smile. I'm trying to keep you calm and I'm kind to keep you positive. It's coming to you. Every state's paying you uh, six times $300, $1,800. Every state is paying you $1,800. So if you have gone into your state's website, you have certified for weeks, and all those weeks show approved, you're getting eighteen hundred dollars. You know, it's it. You don't need to send me a tweet or a DM that shows I got one hundred. I got one week, but I haven't gotten the other week. I got three weeks, but I haven't gotten the other weeks. Do you know where it is? No. It, every state is just doing things crazy. And all I gotta say to you is just stay calm. In California, there's no less than five versions of how they're sending out the eighteen hundred dollars three weeks and then two weeks, three weeks and then three weeks, or two weeks and then one week and then five weeks and then five weeks and then two weeks. It's just ridiculous. I mean, there's no reason for me to, 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 to do a recording on the so many versions. The, the net result is you're getting the six weeks. The, those five states, five states are throwing $100 on top of it. Other states are doing these workarounds. And let me get to your 666 uh, great, some of your 600 great comments. We should get, we should all help one another get through this most horrible event. Let's stay positive and motivated. Amen, Alfred. It's now time for our government to help us when we need help. Amen. Trisha, I'm uh, just heartbreaking, Elliot. Our veterans are dropping like flies here on our big island of Hawaii and all the money we have gotten. Where's our care? We need veterans protection. I detail that in the scandal Saturday, $300 billion, excuse me, $300 million was uh, given to Honolulu just itself. And of that, just a fraction, less than 10% has been paid to anything in their city. Um, $15,000 in debt. I've come so far and I'm about to lose everything. I need help as a mom and pop. Uh, if, you're, if you're a mom and pop business, you need to go get an EIDL loan and you need to consider a Main Street Lending Program loan and you need to consider PUA. Watch my videos for that as well. I'm here to help you. Balua Carter. Good evening, LA Purple Power. Well, hello, Balua. Have a great evening. God bless. Well, God bless you too. Leah, what is the deal with the $100 threshold? Do they think people are getting unemployment of less than $100 a week? that need that LWA $300. Yeah, I don't know why it was put in there. But the good news is some states are doing that workaround. If your state is not, tag your state elected officials and tell them do a workaround. William, sorry, but L LWA blows. It doesn't cover people that are on regular unemployment benefits like in the CARES Act. There are a lot of people still not being helped out by the so-called executive orders. Judd Jakers, when are you going to run for president? <laughs> I hate um, heat, so I don't think I could survive in D.C. Um, Kayla Burton, I really hope there's a if there's a president, he has to do the order. Uh, amen. Kyle, 
just guess we're going to have to suffer. No, Kyle, don't say that. Uh-uh, you need to stay with me. Come on, Kyle. Mm -mm. Shinoyite, uh, our lives mean nothing to them. They're sociopaths. Um, there's some politicians who absolutely care about you, about you and those videos, t those videos today have all been identifying these groups that are really caring about you. It's her. She doesn't care about you. Evelyn, we don't want lobster or tuna. We want stimulus checks. Amen. Jason, again, times are tough. Don't last. Tough people do. I love that. I'm going to repeat that. Um, Jason Alred, tough times don't last. Tough people do. That's a good one. Jason Alred. Steve Jones, they got money. They're just holding on for their interest. Give it to the people. We need it. Very well said. That's talking about my scandal, which I exposed. Clara, who's a longtime viewer of this channel. Stephen Moore won a talk show today and said Congress needs to make more stimulus packages. Wow. Stacy Miller, let's send Nancy and Chuck some lobster. <laughs> Barbara, he needs to do retroactive stimulus checks. Amen. Uh, Nancy Cooper, they'll probably keep the extra money for themselves, jerks. J.A. Remove the politicians from office. Amen. Down Costa, have you thought of starting a third party, uh, third political party, the Purple Party, and running candidates? I mean, we could. Uh, what do viewers think about this? You know, I'm open to any suggestion. I'm here to help. Uh, Lewis Kimmel, we know the saying, a squeaky wheel gets the grease. There's, there are millions that are getting squeaking. Wow. Barbara, Nancy and everyone should eat seaweed and mail everyone in the country lobsters. Danielle, what I want to know is why the seven senators haven't put a stimulus check in the bill. I don't know. I really, I, I, it's, there's like a brain cell missing here. I really don't know. Uh, Reba, the stimulus should be 1800 or more. We've had to wait so long. Very well said. This is me. That's the screen name. The protests, where are they going to protest? Who? Let's get this started. Can we start a petition? How many protests? Uh, Washington, <laughs> right in front of them. Teresa, if FEMA had to pay all the states they owe for LWA, can't states just pay what we're supposed to be owed? Very well said. States have this money to start paying it. Chasharn, uh, Tarshana, we'll all remember Michael Jackson, they don't really care about us. Trisha, just heartbreaking veteran um, about our veterans. Um, boy, if you have comments in today's video, drop them in the comments below. I really appreciate your comments. I love reading your comments on this channel. That's what I did back in the day. I've clearly brought it back OG. There was nothing I enjoyed more than reading comments because it's a way that I connect with the viewers, understand your concerns, understand your questions. If you have questions about UI, whether it's your UI, your PUA, your FPUC, your LWA, drop them in the comments below. I'll try to answer tomorrow. Of course, there's 633 comments. That will be you know a three-hour video, but I try to answer whatever comments I can in this video tomorrow. Coming up next is rent. Big developments on that. Go to the front channel and, and subs go to the front channel and subscribe and drop your comments below. We may feature them tomorrow's according. I really appreciate you joining me on this journey. 250,000 subscribers in four months. No one in the history of YouTube has ever done that. And like this video. It really helps the algorithm. You're doing incredible jobs. We're now a number one, number two, and number three in the search results. Coming up next is rent. As always, stay informed, stay filing filing, stay smiling, stay focused, and stay up LA for more.